Okay, let's move on to topic two, which is going to be a three-part topic, because that's how we do it. This is releases for June, or sorry, our favorite songs of June 2019, because we changed the name and I've never really gotten over it. I don't know. We still call it releases when we're like doing the spreadsheet and stuff. So like, whatever. We're going through the releases of June 2019 in K-pop. It's just instead of talking about every song like we used to do a year ago, if you weren't here with us <laughs> back then, and we just droned on about ballads for like two hours, we stopped doing that and only talk about the songs we find interesting because nobody wants to listen to that. I think our first releases episode was literally like the releases part of it was over three hours because <laughs> we, we, we like, we're like, let's go through all of the releases. Cause that's a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, everyone wants to listen to that. Everyone wants, and then, and then, yeah, that's where it's a ballad came from. If you didn't know that, uh, cause once we found out half of Korean music releases are ballads, that was all we would say about them. We'd be like, well, it's about, oh, it's about, it's about. So that's where that came from. A little history lesson. But now we just talk about the songs that we think are interesting. Um, so starting off like we usually do, sorry for the no visual aid thing, but like with me recording, I only have one monitor and it's a lot harder to do all the stuff Andrew does with like the, the slideshow and all that stuff while you're recording and reading notes. So you're just going to have to bear with us and listen to me talk about the songs. Um, but before we get started, I'll go over the songs that we aren't going to talk about. But we did find interesting, and that is because we reviewed them. Um, so, uh, 80s Illusion and Wave, uh, Chunga's Flourishing album, or Snapping, I guess it's the single. Um, June's Tonight, and that full length album. Uh, Red Velvet's The Rev Festival Day One. Did we ever look that up? <laughs> I did what, not. Rev Reva Festival? Is it Reva? I don't know. I never looked yeah. up how to pronounce it. Reva. In... It's like Reva Love. It is Reva. Reva Festival. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, SF9's RPM. Uh, Somi's birthday we talked about and kind of reviewed in like unofficially. And then <laughs> Uju Sonio's For the Summer. Um, those are all albums we reviewed this month. So they will not be on. They will not be discussed. And let's get into it. We're starting off with a banger certified banger well i don't know if baron actually certified it but if he didn't he's an idiot uh we have g idols digital single uh uh-oh um and it's got an awesome classic hip-hop beat with piano and strings and scratching and it's all on top of g idol just killing it with their vibe and vocals um pretty much surpassed my expectations uh, I think the styling and the music video are on point. They've got that classic like '90s, early 2000s hip hop styling too. Just everything about it. it's a complete package. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a pattern now of like their digital singles are just gonna be my favorite title tracks from them because like mm-hmm. with Han and now this, and it's almost like frustrating because I'm like I yeah, want you more want be, yeah. with these. But yeah, no, this song was awesome. Uh, the music video is awesome. The styling's incredible. I feel like I've been like bopping my head like all yep. like ever since it came out and uh, Shua finally actually saying words and not just like uh, 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 O's and yeah, yeah. La Ta Ta like it's actual sentences. <laughs> so mm-hmm. no, this was a great comeback. I'm really excited now for like even more excited for KCON now. Oh yeah, definitely. It's because they're be gonna awesome have this to styling. This uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's gonna excited. be awesome. Um, also, shout out to uh, So Young singing into a burning microphone because that, that was, was ridiculous. So cool! Oh yes, that whole song. Minnie's vocals are yep. amazing. I could talk for hours. Let's continue. It's, exactly, it's <laughs> awesome. Well, I mean, we we could talk for hours because this is going to go fast anyway. So like, we got <laughs> That's time. True. Um, it was part one, G Idol. G Idol. Yeah. No, we got we got from us to talk about too. Which That's true. Won't be as as hype, but we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Boa's digital single Feedback featuring Nuxal. Um, for, to me, it's a Boa song. If you like Boa songs, um, it's an up-tempo dance beat. Uh, it's got a nice like funky bass line. It's Boa's vocals. She she has a vocal style. If you like Boa, you know it. She <laughs> That's just her voice, and that's how she sings. Um, so if you're... If you like... I love it. So, like, don't get me wrong. This isn't a knock at Boa, but 
if it's a boa song like there's there's nothing yeah. crazy about it yeah it's um, just funny for people who aren't in the discord boa gets a lot of uh i don't want to say hate but she gets a lot of slack i think for her vocals in the discord yeah. it's been a recent discussion i like her voice um but it's definitely it's definitely unique like you i can see why people wouldn't like it um also, the music video is typical Boa music video full of foreigners. I don't know why, but that just <laughs> happens. It is. It's, it's full of white and black people. I don't know why. And then Boa's there. It it just happens. It's how her music videos usually go. Um, I think Nuxall's rap was fine. Uh, it, unfortunately, like, it's not, like, I don't want to say it's bad or it's not good, but it, it didn't improve. It was exactly that's that's the perfect way to say it. <laughs> it it didn't improve the song. Usually you have a rapper feature because their rap will improve the song, and it did not. Um, so that is it is how it is. Yeah, my my main comment was like the features and no, <laughs> like like I mean it's a Boa song and I don't know too much about Boa. I think it was the song she did in what was it twenty eighteen, twenty seven twenty eighteen. With one well, shot, two shot. There's one shot, two shot, camo. There was a woman. Mega. Yeah, all, camo and Mega Dola. Mega Dola. Like, I loved yeah, that, those that three was, songs. That was her first mini album was last year. Yeah. <laughs> After, <laughs> like, 20 Boa. full albums. <laughs> the only Boa album I own because I loved all three of those. I'm like, wow, I must love Boa. And uh, it turned out maybe not the case. I think she just really just had, like, three hits with me. And so, yeah, yeah this song, I'm like, yeah, this is Boa. It's not yeah. as, like, good as the first songs i heard from her but yeah that feature made the song worse to me so it's yeah. just like i would have rather just listened to boa the whole song yep yeah i agree uh next we have cc i guess is how you pronounce it and their I debut. Don't even know. it's c exclamation mark ci um yeah. so i assume it's cc uh especially because their debut single album this the title track is called cc just cc yeah sam you it's want a, to talk about this yeah just a little it is the classic like new goo boy group uh debut song but i think it's like kind of better i don't know i'm not like i love new goo girl groups girl groups i'm not a huge fan of like the new goo boy groups but this one like wasn't bad the music video was low budget mm -hmm. but then on some scenes it was like a higher budget it was really funny kind of yeah, how they did they that, like but... saved all their money for a couple shots and then the rest <laughs> yeah, of it was yeah, like when they're in the field, you're like, oh, okay, that's not the same quality that we had when they were like in like the room. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they were pretty good. The dancing and singing was pretty good. I, I see potential in this group. I don't know if we'll ever hear from them again, <laughs> but <laughs> you never you know, know what's going to They're on my radar, you know, at least there's that. Yep. Uh, next, we have Chai's debut digital single, Give and Take, featuring PH1. Yeah, this, like, really, like, this was one of those where I was just like, wait, this is really good. Just kind of going through the songs. I think Andrew would really like it. Her yeah. voice is just so smooth and so good. Like, it made me check out, I think she had, like, maybe two other songs. I liked one of her other songs that she had. But hmm. no, I really liked her, and I wasn't a huge fan of the feature. Page one, he, eh, he was. I didn't need him because I yeah. I just loved her voice, and that was all I wanted. I didn't want anything else. Hmm. So I recommend checking it out. Yeah, sounds like yeah. If you're into like that smoother R and B stuff that Andrew likes, he probably would have marked this song. So good job covering for him. <laughs> um, next we have Weijin uh from Big Flow and Unb, UMB. Yeah. Uh, with his debut mini album Emotion and the title track Insomnia. Yeah, this was I didn't uh like check this because I liked it. I I was so disappointed with this. He was my he was easily my favorite on the unit. Mm -hmm. Like and he was kind of one of those that like he started kind of low and he just like shot up the first yeah, in the yeah. end. Because he's just so likable and he's yeah. an incredible dancer. And I think that's what made this so disappointing because it's not like a dance track yeah. you know it's it's the typical generic mediocre sound that boy groups have kind of been doing. i don't want to like knock you to be like that sound i understand some people yeah. have sounds they like i mean i like mediocre girl group sound so <laughs> so the guy group 
sits down and I'm just like, oh, I just don't like this. And he's not he's not a vocalist. Like that is not yeah. his feature. So I don't know why they're having him sing like this. It doesn't sound good. And the, they should have done more dancey, like embrace that he's a dancer, right? You know, go mm-hmm. like a rain route or, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but the dancing he is doing is incredible. Like he is a great dancer. It's just they're not using his potential there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they should have done an Ouijin duet troublemaker style since <laughs> Ouijin the girl and Ouijin the guy both got first and yeah. Unity and No, that would have been that would have been fun. It would have. I when they when that happened I was like, that needs to happen and it didn't. <laughs> it made me sad. Uh yeah. next we have Unjung from Tiara with her Japanese debut mini album Desire. Um, so I just marked this because it's not what I expected. Uh, her debuting in Japan, like she, I just kind of expected ballad stuff because she was like one of the lead vocalists in Tiara. Um, and she went like full on J rock anime theme songs. And so I just wanted to shout it out because if you yeah. like that J rock anime theme song style, definitely check out this song. I think it was a good, good job. I, I don't know about the rest of the album, but the single was definitely that. Uh, next, we have... God, I don't know how to pronounce it. E- Izu Uz? E- Ez Uz? I have no e- idea. Z- I don't e- know. Z- um, with the digital single, Latte is Horse, featuring Kyungri. Um, I had to mark this because, well, one, because Kyungri. Um, someone needs to give her another solo because her solo song was amazing. It was basically female Taemin, and Kyungri is amazing, <laughs> and there needs to be more of that. Um, but this is also one of those, like, comedic retro duo songs that, like, we get occasionally. Um, this is a group, because uh, I can never remember the name of the group that did um, the stuff with, like, Shindong, and they did um, uh, It's a One Freedom with JYP. I cannot remember the name of that group. This is a different group from them, but it's very similar. Um, I don't know these people as much. But yeah, it's just like a super like retro, like late 80s, early 90s sound. Um, so if you like that and are down with like not serious music, check out this song. And Kyung is amazing, so give Kyung another solo. Uh, next, we have From Us Nine's single album, Fun Factory, with the song Fun. With an exclamation mark. <laughs> um, I think this song fits its name very well. Uh, it's it's not as good as Love Bomb, but I think it was impossible to follow that song up because that's like one of the best K-pop songs ever made, in my opinion. Um, but overall, I think this song is good. I love the pre-chorus. Like, the pre-chorus sounds amazing yes. both times. Yes. Like, both when it's... Kyuri and Hyung, and Hi-young. then when it's Jisun and G, uh, uh, who's it's Jisun and and Jiwon, um, that do the second time. It, it sounds amazing. I that's like, I don't know, like that part of the song is like one of my favorite K-pop parts of the year. Like, mm-hmm. it's different from the rest of the songs. So obviously, like, I don't know, but like something about that part I love. Also, the music video idea is genius. Because one, it's just a really like cool idea, but two, it's like, hey, here's all these auditions that you didn't ask for for a CFs, <laughs> so you can see how great we are as CFs and give us CFs. <laughs> yeah, um, I definitely agree about like the pre-chorus part. I mean, pretty much all the parts that like Hyung does, I absolutely love in this song. I she is like cemented the place as the bias now in promise because for yeah. so long i didn't know i was just like yep. it's no, she's either amazing. of these like five people <laughs> and finally yep. like yes it is high end. like i've decided and um so yeah for the song itself though i think this is their worst title track i shouldn't say worst I, probably say like weakest i agree i do think it's their weakest too like i don't hate the song i can understand not liking the song like yeah the chorus is a little much of the da 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 like yep. it's it's not creative i guess or it's just yeah but i don't know i still i still enjoy the song i really love the choreo like i think it's it's a lot of fun like hence the name 
Like they mm-hmm. just have some moments that I just think are really cute and creative. Yeah. Like it doesn't, it's not generic. I don't think yes. the choreo is generic at all. Yep. So yeah, I just, it, the song just needs a better chorus. I think that's really it. Yeah, I can see that. It's fun. It it really does live up to its name, though. Yeah. Uh, and finally, for this part, we have Ha Sung Moon from Hot Shots, a digital single riding featuring Geiko. Um, I thought this was like a pretty great low tempo acoustic song. Um, I usually skip over most of these, um, but this one stood out to me for some reason. I think there's some like great bass going on and like some good vocal layering. Uh, and on top of that, there's some really fantastic falsetto parts. Uh, and then Geiko, if you don't know who he is, he's one of like the biggest, most successful rapper, like part of the rapper duo, dynamic duo. Um, and I think he kills it as usual. Um, so definitely check that out if you feel like, like low tempo acoustic, low tempo acoustic, like boy group music. 